So I started out as a photographer, now I want to shoot some video. Well, these are some points you need to keep in mind before pressing that record button. Frame rates. Video is not photo. But keep in mind that video is a series of photos. So how many series of photos you are taking in a single second of videos is known as frame rates. Frame rate is very important, it is the pure basic for video production. Just to give out a basic idea, if you want to slow your footage in post processing, you have to shoot in a higher frame rate. And if you don't want to, just shoot in 24 frame per second. Shutter speed. Shutter speed doesn't affect the video as it affects the photo. You can crank up your shutter speed to get up normal exposure for photos, but it's not as same for the video. For shutter speed, there is a rule called 180 degree rule. The 180 degree rule is very simple. You just keep your shutter speed double than your frame rates. So if you're shooting in 24 frames per second, you need to keep your shutter speed at 1 by 48. But most of the DSLR, they don't have the 48, so you can crack it up up to 1 by 50. And if you shoot at 60 frames per second, you need to keep it up to 1 by 1 20th of seconds. ISO. Well, the ISO affects the video as it affects the photo. The ISO idea is very simple. If you crank up your ISO, you are going to introduce more noise into your video. And you less, you don't have any noise into your video, you get a clean image. So keep your ISO as low as possible. Aperture. The aperture affects the photo and video side in the same manner. Wide open your aperture value, you get a shallow depth of field. Close your aperture value, you get a deep depth of field. Raw versus picture profiles. For photographers, raw is not a uncommon name. You must have heard it. For your kind information, the video side also has a raw capability. But for most of the beginners, you will not have access to those cameras that can shoot raw. I mean, that's the harsh reality. You cannot. You just cannot. If you can, you're just lucky enough. Well, the photo side has a raw capability, but for video, they have also the raw capability. But for the entry level DSLR and all the professional DSLR, they have the picture profile or the all the mirrorless cameras, they have the picture profile settings for you, which you can use to increase the dynamic range of your video image. And finally, the most important tips for you, don't forget to press the record button. So that's all for today, guys. Adios.